Yo, what's going on out there? Live on this night hour review. I'm your host, Anthony Hopkins, CEO of Grown Man Media. And we have special guest today, Remo Royale. He's a rapper. He's going to come and talk to y'all. But, uh, shit. Let's go. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Uh, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Anthony Hopkins, CEO of Grown Man Media. I'm joined today by my son, Colin, a.k.a. Remo Royale. You know, a little later on, he's going to be telling y'all all about what he got going on, the projects he's working on right now. And so, shit, we're just doing a weekend recap of things that happened this weekend. Uh, what happened? Not too much. Really went down as far as the changes and, you know, the uh, invasion. No, not invasion. What is it? Quarantine, yeah. <laughs> you know, I finally went to out, which I don't go a lot of places, you know what I'm saying? Places I go is all about business. So I'm not just the guy that you will just run into, you know what I'm saying? Like, same way you just ain't going to bump into Diddy, you know? You know, but at the same time, uh, I went to the Walmart and everybody had masks on. And I had a mask on. And Walmart got a gate up already. They got signs on the floor saying, Social distances. It's like, I feel like Walmart is kind of like a police station ready to go. You know, a lot of people have said that about Walmart. It's like a FEMA camp. Yeah, they're like a FEMA camp. I mean, so what's y'all thoughts on that? You know, I know you can't respond right now, but I also want to tell y'all, you know, for those of you who've been tuning in, this is the third episode, and they get better, they get longer, but I'm starting off with just 15 minutes. Maybe I will do a 30-minute spot every now and then. But mostly they're going to be 15 minutes until I build up my audience. So if you like the show, you want to hear longer shows, the best way to do that is to share the show and get more people interested in the show. Then I will up my subscription. I will spend more money on the show and you will get more show out of the show. So show your support by sharing the show. Okay, I'm try to say that fast. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I was like felt kind of weird just being out in public with a mask on and stuff. And this stuff is kind of like serious as far as the effect it's having on the community. But I'm not taking it as a joke, but I'm definitely not afraid for my life, you know, in no form or fashion. So we're going to talk to Colin right now, a.k.a. Remo Royale, about his upcoming project and, you know, what he's thinking of and what he's got coming. 
Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Remo. Uh, Remo, not Gaji, Remo G, however you want to say it. Uh, yeah, welcome to, uh, I want to say appreciate K1, welcome me to the show. Uh, I got a project coming up. I got a huge project coming up. I'm talking like, this is supposed to go big. I'm trying to go global. I'm a rapper, artist, musician, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know my own flow. I know my own music. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Just I never really had the motivation, but I just woke up one day and was like, you know what? The best way to get bread, it, it, the best way to get bread, is to get it by doing something that you were talented at. And I had to think, like this is something I know I could do because my dad is in the music industry and my mom is in the music industry. So it really wouldn't make any sense for me to waste those two networks, those two opportunities. And turn him into something greater is the way I see it. Uh, especially, you know, being with my dad. He's already been through this, been through the ringer a couple times and everything. Anyway, so I know for a fact that this project that I'm doing is going to be good. It's called Finding Remo. I know, like Finding Nemo, but it's called Finding Remo. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a collection of mixtapes starring me and my father and possibly one other artist. I'm not sure yet. I'm not really sure if I want to even put somebody else on there. I think it just want to be a family thing. Um, we're trying to see what's going on, trying to maybe go to Patchworks, probably in a couple months, maybe in a month. I'm not sure. You know, just get this thing going. You know, so if you see my name out there, if you see Remo, Remo Gaji, Remo G, Remo not Gaji, anything like that, that's me. That's nobody else. Anybody else that's fake, look me up. Is Remo, what is it, Remo underscore not Gaji, G-A-G-G-I. Look me up. You know what I'm saying? Figure it out. Message K1. <laughs> Something like that. Because you're going to see me on YouTube, man. We're going to have a whole interview with Passworks and everything. I'm going to have an interview everywhere. I'm about to make this music. You know what I'm saying? And even if even if I got to do it with just family, with no label, we're going to do it with no label. We don't got it because we don't need a label to do this. We have the talent. We have the brains. We got the network. Either way it goes. So, yeah, y'all just watch out for that project. Finding Remo is coming. I'm telling you, 2020. It's coming. Okay, no doubt. That's what's up, man, you know? See, you know? Okay, yeah. Uh, so that's Remo, man. You know, appreciate him stopping by and whatnot. And that's, that is my son, you know, so the apple don't fall far from the tree. So I know everybody who's familiar with what I do is really excited because it's going to be unique. It's going to be an add-on to the game. It's going to be something that people been missing. You know, that's what we do over here, man, when it comes to that music. We never imitate, you know what I'm saying? We often imitate it, but never duplicate it. But we never imitate in the first place. We trendsetters and we wave starters, you know. We the earthquakes that you don't hear about, but the tsunami that splashed you. You know what I mean? So that's how we ride. But I want to talk about CBD oil. And I'm a big proponent, upon, not opponent, but proponent of marijuana. This is a marijuana-friendly show. Uh, I think that, you know, I was coined the phrase like that. My my neck is on Alaska, but my lungs in California. Some I said, but you know that's just me, man. I'm always going to be pro marijuana as long as they got cigarettes and alcohol on the shelves. I'm gonna always be pro marijuana because I've seen the positive effects of marijuana. I have yet to see any positive effect from alcohol except for making a girl easy, which it ain't no hard job. You know what I mean, so I don't really need to get a girl drunk. Alcohol, you know what I mean, to get what I want. Shit. If anything, I'm trying to get them push them back. <laughs> yeah, we just tripping out today, man, messing with y'all. But uh, definitely, though, CBD oil, I think, is a great alternative yeah. to pain medicines. For one thing, you don't have to take anything internally into your body. When you're taking pills into your body, the processes that it takes to break down those fillers that they add to pills, the, the encapsulation uh, chemicals that they use to bind it together, the binders which are not always starch or cellulose based. So they can be extra chemicals on top of the chemical you're taking to get rid of the pains that you have, but you're giving your body more pain by pushing your liver to the limit to process chemicals. It was never designed to process. 
And also your stomach lining can be ate up by medicines like acetaminophen and aspirin and ibuprofen. So if any time you can take CBD oil in a place of a painkiller, which, you know, we living in a post painkiller addicted society right now in America, you know, where uh, painkillers and things of that nature are destroying people's lives at a rate just as fast or higher than illegal street drugs. But I see all drugs as drugs. So whether they're legal or not is all about the government and their pocket. So the things they want to be legal, they make legal. The things they want to be illegal, they make illegal. But as far as human safety is concerned, I don't think that's a factor when it comes to government and the FDA, because if it was, then marijuana would be legal across the board and things like hydrocodone and oxycotton would be illegal across the board because it's basically synthetic heroin. You know, and they give people a lot of time for heroin, a lot of time for marijuana, but no time for oxys unless you didn't get a prescription, meaning the government didn't get their tax out of it. And it's just like illegal because they didn't get paid. So that is not a good enough reason for me to to fight against anything. And we got uh Don, not Don Magic, but you know what I'm saying? Don Magic Jr. Oh. just pulled up, you know, with the sure. gag gag. No gas gas. Right. All runs, you know what I mean? So, no breaks. You know what I'm saying? So, we finna see what he talking about. And you know, we'll be like, we'll let y'all know what it is. He gave me straight runs. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, mm, you know, I'm too bad we ain't on TV, even though we don't got smell of vision. It probably been a good idea. You know, to have some smell of vision going on right now. But since we don't got smell of vision, I'm just going to let y'all imagination take the best of y'all. Because right now, we got the Night Owl Cigars. And this show was brought to you by Night Owl Cigars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, the new Night Owl Cigars, you get four free cigars. All you do is purchase four cigars. So go to fourfreecigars.com. <laughs> And get you some Night Owl cigars because this is the Night Owl review. It was only right. That... <laughs> Sit down, Holly Bear. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Holly Bear. She's attacking folk, but she don't bite too bad. You know what I'm saying? We got security dogs and everything around in this show, man. But no, I want to talk about the attitudes. What's up with the black women attitudes? Y'all are terrorists. I, I used to be scared of the Taliban till I realized it wasn't ran by black women. I mean, I'm not afraid of black women. You know, I grew up in a single parent home. Of course I did. I'm a black guy from America. But that's neither here nor there. The big picture is I think that a lot of the black women are angry because they have not been in a situation where they can be loving wives. And I want to say that all my fellas out there, Start teaching your little boys how to be good husbands. I want all the ladies to teach the daughters to be loving wives. Even if you don't got a man, don't be yelling and fussing with your boyfriend all day in front of your daughter because that's what she going to do. And even if you don't got a woman, fellas, don't be beating your girl up and talking shit about her in front of your son because that's what he going to grow up to do. We need some loving wives and some good husbands out there. You know, that's what we need right now. And I think that the world can agree. I know it, right? It's crazy, you know, to where people are just out here doing things that don't make any sense. And it's like these 15 minutes of fame are going by real quick. But hopefully as the show progresses, more people come on board. We're going to be able to bring you guys more quality programming from the Night Out Review podcast. And like I said, today's show was brought to you by me, Anthony Hopkins, CEO of Grown Man Media, where we're giving away free copies of the poetry book designed for wine connoisseurs, Wine Glass Reflections by Phaedra Nevels. It's a three-part series. The first book is already out, Bottles on Vines. You can pick it up on Amazon.com and Amazon to Kindle devices worldwide. And also, Night Owl Cigars, fourfreecigars.com. They didn't even sponsor this show. My nephew walked in with it. And I went with it because it was the Night Owl Review and Night Owl Cigars. So go to 4freecigars.com. See you next week.